It's BFBS, the Forces Station. Hal Stewart's here with you. Now, off the back of the Army's recent announcement that they will be cutting some troop numbers, post-pandemic debt is a serious concern. I've been reading that recent estimates suggest that debt advice agencies will experience a 300% surge in demand for debt support by the summer. So this is, of course, once the majority of the government's financial safety nets have disappeared. I wanted to offer some help on this before we actually get there, as I know many will be concerned. Matt Dronfield is with me. He's the head of the free debt advice charity Debt Free in London. Matt, welcome. Good morning, Hal. Thank you for letting me join your show. It's a pleasure to have you on. Of course, a lot of people will be worried about this, and I'm sure you get this all the time, that lots of people also don't really like actually facing this and, and talking about it. And of course, it's your job. So you actually have to deal with this all the time. And I would imagine, therefore, that you've come across a lot of genuine and practical advice. And in the response to the, of course, increase in demand and the fears surrounding people's debt, what has your charity actually been able to ascertain? Uh, absolutely, how so, so before the pandemic, we knew that there was already 8.3 million people across the UK with unmanageable debt. And from the people that we supported last year, 80% of them said that they worried about money either quite often or all the time. So this is a real concern for many families across the country. The financial impact of COVID-19, as you can imagine, has been really devastating. And you mentioned around troops being cut in the future. There's already 700,000 people in the country that have been forced into uh, poverty due, due to the pandemic. Now, recent statistics suggest that as many as 15 million people in this country now live in poverty, with some 9.6 million people uh, sitting below the 25% or more, the uh, official definition of poverty. So to put that into context, that's similar to pre-20th century levels of poverty. There are so many people already struggling out there and it's really important that if we can help with some practical money advice, that people know how to get in touch and seek that free impartial advice. Well, Matt, let's get straight to that then. What practical advice can you offer for anyone currently concerned about debt? Yeah, so the most important thing is to seek advice early. Don't worry about it. Many people kind of worry about it on their own. They don't seek advice. They're too afraid to seek advice or even tell members of their friends and family. The most common types of debt that we help with are council tax and rent arrears, followed by credit card and store uh, card bills. Between those things, that makes up more than two thirds of the debt that we help people with. We also know that the vast majority of our clients, in fact 87%, live in rented accommodation. So if people fall behind with their accommodation bills, they really put their living situation in potential jeopardy. So it's really important they, they seek that advice. Over the last 12 months, we've almost doubled our capacity ready to help people. And until the end of March, our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, irrespective of where anybody's listening to this, we're here to help them. They can call us for free on free phone 0800 808 5700 or visit our website at debtfree.london and start a web chat. As I said, irrespective of where people live, if they're serving in the armed forces, we're here to help them and their families. They shouldn't feel afraid of doing it. Um, you mentioned in your intro that we are expecting a two to 300% demand uh, for our services, which is why we've done that. Um, recruitment and training to <clears throat> upskill our, our, our workforce ready for that. Um, and of course, for the veterans as well, we should just mention, um, it, it sometimes is a bit of a, a stigma, but we know that veterans can struggle financially and otherwise with life after the armed forces. So your advice would, of course, just carry over for them. And, and I imagine it's, it's pretty much exactly the same for everyone. Absolutely, yeah. And we, what we do know is that some people at the moment don't feel they need to worry about their money. And that mm. might be surprising for some, but it's actually unsurprising because during this time, emergency measures like the government's furlough scheme and payment holidays on rent and credit cards would have given people the impression of financial security, whilst they've put their, you know, rightly so, their family's health as their top priority. But we do know, as the Chancellor announced uh, earlier this year, that these measures are due to end uh, not that far away in September. So concerningly, it seems that many people might be burying their heads in their sand and not thinking they need to deal with this yet. That, that couldn't be further than the truth. People do need to deal with this as a top priority before it becomes far too urgent. Um, yeah. We know people are burying their heads in their sand because last summer we actually saw a 65% reduction in people reaching out for our services. Um, but such measures are only going to last so long. So the message remains the same. Don't wait, act early and seek free and impartial advice.
you read my mind. I was actually going to ask if you had seen a reduction because, of course, of these these aids that have been offered by the government. Well, Matt, finally then, uh, please give out once again those key contact details. Thanks so much. Yes, so we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week until the end of March. And our phone number is 0800 808 5700. Or you can start a web chat or video chat if it's helpful to share documents with the advisor on our website at www.debtfree.london. And as much as we've got London in our address and in our name, we're here to help any uh, current or former members of the armed forces with any money worries that they might have. Matt Dronfield, Head of Free Debt Advice Charity, Debt Free. Thank you so much. Thank you.